guys, it's Bree. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. Um, I finished a little while ago The Space Between the Stars. This is by Anne Corlett. And it was really a good read. The basic premise of the book is that <laughs> There is a virus that literally turns people to dust, and it's 0.0001% of humanity is going to survive. There is a woman named Jamie, who is of course our main character. She starts off the book on essentially an edge or a rim planet, and is terrified. She wakes up in the very first couple scenes, and there's no one there. She thinks she's all alone in the whole world. And as the story goes on, we build this kind of ragtag group of characters that includes a preacher and um, a prostitute, a boy with autism, kind of a religious zealot, all of these ragtaggy kind of people. And they are going to go to Earth basically because Jamie wants to go there to see if her ex-partner is there. You know, they're all just kind of trying to find the remnants of civilization. As they go, Jamie discovers a lot about herself. There's a lot of interesting drama that goes on. A lot of stuff that she has to come to terms with in order to not just be able to survive, because they decide very... It, it is a very significant decision that survival is not enough. They want to be free. They want to be able to rebuild some semblance of the life that they had before. We find out a lot about Jamie's past, as well as that of the other characters. We find out a lot about Jamie's past and that of the other characters. There's a lot of character building. Um, the plot can be a little bit slow at times, but overall I thought it was a really interesting and compelling read. So I think this book has a lot going for it, but that being said, the setup is very formulaic in a lot of ways. Especially in the composition of the cast, it kind of feels like the very typical firefly setup, right? We've got a preacher and a prostitute and a surly captain and a doctor. Um, there's kind of very intentionally all of these really important skill sets are, are placed because that way, of course, the crew can survive. Nothing wrong with it, it was just very striking insofar as I felt like, okay, this is a setup that I know and I'm familiar with. Um, there's not a ton in that part that feels like it's very innovative or particularly like well done it's just the setup and so that kind of at the beginning was a little bit like meh i think that there is a lot of interesting sympathy that's going on so there is a character who has autism and for me of course if you've been around my channel you know that that is a big draw for me um, i have a very personal relationship with autism and so its representations are things that I take very seriously. And in so far as the autism itself goes, it was done very well and handled very well. Moreover, I was really impressed with some of the ways that Corlett's characters sympathized with him. Um, the young man with autism is very clearly out of his element, as you might imagine. And some of the things that he's doing, like uh, redoing kind of ritualistic habits, self-stimming, things like that are all present and all all of the characters react to it slightly differently and I liked that about it. Um, as far as Jamie herself goes, she's not necessarily a thrilling or fantastic character. She's not bad by any means, um, but there are some things in particular with her that I felt like were tossed in and not followed through on. There's a scene where <laughs> And I think this is on the, this has been on a lot of the promotional material, so I'm going to go ahead and say it's not actually a spoiler. There's a scene where one of the characters sees Jamie and she's got this really long scar and asks her about it and it turns out that Jamie was um, part of a pair of conjoined twins in the surgery she lived and her twin didn't. And that's never like followed up on again. And I think that it could have just as easily been handled like for the effect that they wanted by saying like, oh, I had like this other surgery that's not as seemingly very important as being part of a conjoined twin set. 
and and when we discuss Jamie's family afterwards like there's never any mention of how this affected the family dynamic there's never any like just no follow-through and it was a little baffling um <laughs> for me it was like well you may as well have just said that like she broke her arm a couple times as a kid and so now she's got like a I don't know like a curved forearm or something like it would have served the same purpose without being quite as seemingly important <laughs> I think some of the reactions to the collapse of the world are really interesting not so necessarily so much in the characters themselves because the characters it's very clear they're afraid that they are worried they're doing these things to kind of keep themselves sane and when they find other people it's those reactions that I find particularly interesting there is this kind of reaction on some of the characters behalf uh, some of the side characters behalf where they want to like knuckle down and prove that the world <laughs> can continue on as in like the image that they want it to be um, that becomes almost a little Orwellian um, and I really liked some of that I thought it was really interesting and compelling particularly because Jamie knows some of the people who are helping to perpetuate this like totalitarian society in the making and so her reactions are also very interesting there's a lot of like hopelessness in this which I think makes sense because like less than like 0.0001% of human population has survived right they that's astronomically low even if you have trillions of people like that hopelessness makes a lot of sense and it is in and of itself something interesting to examine especially when it is a bunch of hopeless people trying to keep one another from being hopeless um, I liked that aspect of it Overall, I thought it was just a, like an interesting read. It was one that grabbed my attention and kept me reading. I will say the first 20 or so pages, I was not terribly into it. It took a little while for me to be like, oh, I really like this actually. But once I found that I was liking it, I really liked it. Um, again, not necessarily something that's presenting a ton of like new or revelatory stuff, but just something that I think is a, a good show at what it's doing. It's just, it's good at what it is trying to go for, and I appreciate that. If you have read The Space Between the Stars, let me know what you think of it. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. You know the drill. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.